Once again, everyone, my name is Nanas. And I uh, have not seen the ass of my lover in many a dark night. Welcome to the public display of my suffering. It's Thursday, everybody. Hi. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Or, sorry, not Thursday. Force a habit. It's Friday. Right. Because yesterday was my birthday, and I'm doing two streams a week this week. Or, not this week, but not now I'm doing two streams a week. So, yeah. The plan is to do some side quests. Now, as you may well know from watching me play games, that what I plan and what ends up happening oftentimes can be rather different. But... I'm saying that out front, you know, so that, that way y'all will know that that is officially the plan. Oh. Oh, that's curious. Wait. I feel like I might have talked to this guy before, too. Maybe I didn't finish the quest. You all right there, 2B? Hey there, buddy. You listening? That seems like a big fat no. Guess I won't mind if I hack my way inside. Okay. Sh sure. Yes. To exist, I must be strong. Literally destroy life when you are in need of proof. But if so, what would you say to the world? It is painful. So painful. Okay. Very curious what this will do to it. Okay, what the hell was that? It's in pain because it can't find value in its own existence? It wants to know why it's here? Why it exists? What about me? Why am I here? What do I... To be. Oh, alert. Hacking has resulted in an alignment of synaptic transmissions. Oh, right, sorry, I just, uh, better be more careful next time. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Hmm, so there are just, there's just multiple wise machines. Oh, yeah. Alert. Abnormalities detected in vital signs. Pulse rate nearing dangerous levels. Hmm. That's not it. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Is that this one? decided to end itself all right so got a theory got a theory we've seen the boundaries between machines and androids get blurred and broken used as a jump rope even now fundamentally there's not much reason why they should be very different but let's talk about this for a second if machine life forms were created by aliens that got sent to Earth to destroy humans, but now humans have in their employ androids, which are evolved forms of machines, if you really think about it, 
right? Because we've seen we have seen machines come together to create androids. We have never actually seen how androids are created other than by machines. So while it is perfectly possible that Yorha just produces them in a traditional way, right? You know, factories or some such, and the whole 2B, 4B, 9S, all that stuff definitely supports that. But what if they're all um, byproducts, leavings of highly advanced and intelligent alien life forms? It kind of raises and asks a lot of the same fundamental questions that we as people ask. Why are we here? Where did we come from? What is our purpose? How do we deal with the nihilism and existential dread of the fact that our existence will eventually come to an end? Is there any meaning? Also, by the way, we haven't seen any actual humans. We suppose that they exist, we've been told that they exist, but we don't actually have any proof or evidence of that. Just that Yorha, a bunch of androids, say that there's some small number of humans, right? And while there's all the talk of the difference between machines and androids, the question that I was really wondering when I heard about this game, right? Because I didn't know about the machines and androids. I just knew that there were there were androids, right? And And it was very, like, philosophical and things like that, right? One of the bigger questions is then what's the difference between androids and people? We have not seen any people. The people could theoretically all be gone. They could theoretically be around and just no one can tell the difference, right? Theoretically, Yorha could use a bunch of androids, pretend they're people, and set them up as the last of the human race in order to keep all the other androids in line. Because while you would like to believe that they can simply follow orders like a, 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 a script of code for a machine, they have individuality, they have free will, they can make decisions, they can make mistakes, and that would be a potentially clever way to keep the other androids in line. One of the other ways to potentially keep androids in line is to make sure that they don't realize how they came about. Because if you're going to be serving the humans, then you can't let people know that you actually might have all potentially come from machines. Come from the enemy that you're fighting. And there's something mythic about it, if you think about it, in that humanity's biggest struggle is never with its environment or things like that. It's with themselves, right? Whether on the individual level or the societal level. It's all about being able to be better than, you know the you, the model of last year, right? Better than you were yesterday. The whole AI, with the whole concept of an AI singularity, it's a very, you know, sort of parallel, parallel concept. Even the whole idea of God, what is God if not the, um, the ultimate mythic being, right? That, that we strive to be like. But then... With the whole idea of self-improvement, there's the idea that you get to points where the current state is not enough. And then that must potentially be killed in order to transcend it. Because those machines were called wise machines. Well, that's curious, isn't it? The wise machine is the one that jumps off a cliff. And when 9S goes in and hacks it, gets some understanding of it, looks into its head... It rubs off on him a bit, right? Oh, this is new. They're from your, huh? Alert. Oh, Targets are rogue I found them. Two B and six four B, currently designated for detention. Okay. Um, they come for us, idiot! Prepare yes. to engage and inform the mm. captain. Uh, got it. You're both currently wanted by command for desertion. Disengage and surrender immediately. Shut your trap. Oh, that's cool. Oh, 
Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Whoa. Oh, these are these are nice and tough. Okay, that's uh that's different. Shit. Oh god. Changes every time. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. 117. Hold up. The captain is ordering a retreat. Understood. They got away. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, what's curious is that this spot on the mini map, where I'm at right now, shouldn't exist. Like, officially, right? Because I'm in, like, this dark space. There, there should be nothing here. But I'm here. I guess that's why they knew to hide here. Last place anyone would check. Place not on the minimap. Hang on a sec. Yeah. I ride the moose. You cannot catch up with me, 2B. <gasps> oh, that was a rather silly looking jump, but wait, that wasn't sprinting already? Ho oh, ho! Clock, 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 clock. Over there. Oh, whoops. Oh no. Oh no, I am sorry. Wait, or did I just save them there? Yes, I. I meant to do that. Easy there, little guy. It's mm, all right. Mm -hmm. You weren't scared, were you? We should leave before more enemies arrive. Good, that was an enemy, not his parent. Okay. Let's... Come on. Yeah, that was real Don't close. Be unreasonable. Yeah. Any ideas yeah. to be? I've never dealt with a snot-nosed machine before. You got me. You're saying that? Uh -oh. oh, right. More enemies you... incoming. I'm Talk on. about machines as being different than androids, yes. Oh. Oh, oh. Ah! I'm sorry, I'm just gonna start killing everything, hopefully other than you. It wasn't for the fact that I was too busy, like, trying to kill these things so that it survived. I'd probably be getting emotional about this story. Are you finished? Your mother is worried about you. She sent us here to find you. So quit with the whining and let us take you home already. All right. Ooh, that, mm, mm, mm. Oh no, and these are level 39. They'll have a lot more health than the other ones. Absolutely cannot let them get close to our boy. Oh no, oh no, oh no. No, 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 stay the fuck away. Oh God, that was just, that was just great, wasn't it? Just, just, just go away, go away. I'm sorry, little fella. You will probably die today. But there's always tomorrow for me. Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh. Hopefully that doesn't kill the one I'm trying to protect. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, this is rough. Better go tell Mom. Oh God! Oh no! Oh no! Uh. Well, I feel so bad about that. I hope, like, I get the option to like redo the quest and you know, not have the kid die. You know, this happens sometimes. Sometimes, you know, you're you're trying to keep a kid safe and they just get brutally murdered. You know. And, and what can you do? But you just, you know, you just keep moving forward and hope that the next kid lasts a bit longer. 
Yeah, Tubi was so casual about that. She's just like, hmm, well, that sucks, I suppose. That would have been nice if we didn't, you know, let the kid die right in front of us while we told it we'd protect it. Mom better have some spare parts, oh god. Hey mom, your kid died because I, I, I was having a lot of fun riding a moose and... Well, but then there was the... Okay, okay. There was this bullet hell thing that was shooting a bunch of shots. And the thing is, I wanted to kill them before they got close. But I didn't realize that there was this whirling, like, Tasmanian devil cyclone bladed flying thing that had gotten to your child without my knowledge. He, he didn't, like, cry out for help or anything. It was rather unnerving. But basically... I would like to tell you that your child's death was quick and painless, but it really wasn't. Maybe on another route. Oh, okay, so it just doesn't complete it. All right, well then I guess, I guess I can just go back to the, uh, I guess I can just load the previous save, right? Because I loaded, I saved like really recently. Careful, Tubi. Over there. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's try this again, little fella. Easy there, little guy. It's it's gonna be okay, little buddy. It's gonna be all fine. I will make sure that. Oh, whoop. Whoop, oh, whoop. Oh, no, here's the here's the dangerous one again. Wait, what? We can do this, chat. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, there you are. Oh god, there's so many of them. Oh no. Oh no. Pay no attention to the just unholy carnage all around you, child. Just, just keep walking. Definitely don't run for cover or anything. It's all going to be fine. Never let a child die on my watch, and I'm not about to start now. Ta-da! First try. Yes, I did. I brought him home. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. But maybe also tell him that you're glad he's okay first, you know? Okay, cool. Get yourself home. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, buddy. I'm glad you're alive and not totally dead. I grew up so fast. Oh. Almost like your individuals. All right. All right. Okay. I can see that. Happy to. Isn't much. Isn't much. I mean... Well, okay, thank you. But also, damn. Oh, right. This one is the tough one. So, I get up here. Hey! Alright. Oh! Wait, what? I love it! I love it! He wants to do, like, a... Martial arts competition with me. I love the super serious music too. Oh no, this one's level 20. Hold on. Buddy, buddy, buddy.
Okay, there we go. Father Servo? Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. I'm the warrior monk Father Servo. And I seek the enlightened path through perfection and battle. Father Servo? But alas, there is only so much Father Servo was capable of on his own. Perhaps you would be so good as to aid a fellow on his spiritual journey. I'm not sure if you'd be helping a machine with combat training. No, I said spiritual journey. Now, is this still too complicated a concept for machines, 9S? <laughs> Fear of the unknown clouds your mind, young one. What's in it for us? Father Servo shall impart upon you all of his secret battle arts. I don't know, 2B. This seems pretty suspicious. What do you think? Oh my god, yes! Yes, this sounds amazing! The heavens smile upon Father Servo this day. Now then, let us start with a light round of sparring. Oh my god. <laughs> Enough, Father Servo yields. Uh, I don't, I don't think this guy's quite as tough as he lets on. Well, it was nice. It was a nice workout, at least. Uh, nice. Well, yes. Well, hmm, good for you. Now then, as payment for this lesson, you must bring Father Servo a warped wire. Wait. Huh? <laughs> Listen, you didn't see anything about bringing. We sparred. Yes, you learned many things. Then surely an employ, an em an emolument. I hope I'm saying that right. Emolument. Is to be expected. This guy's shameless. You should be able to retrieve a warped wire from a dinosaur-like machines roaming about nearby. Bring it here before our next bout, if you would be so kind. Have you brought the required item? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got plenty of those. Ah, excellent. Now we can engage in a new form of trading. Father Servo will accept your challenge whenever you're ready. For a fee, of course. Of course. Oh! Father Servo, I think you I think you misunderstand the concept of payment. Of payment? Because it really seems like you're paying us to train you. Oh my god, we're gonna become black belt by the end of this. I love it. Oh wait, what? Hold on. What? Engaged in preparations. Come back later. Well, but but I want to I want you to face you now. I gotta say, I think this is one of my favorite quests so far in the game. Hey, you're the resistance, right? Couldn't you have like waved out the window since you saw that I was probably trying to find you? Explosion that happened in the ruins. Shockwave hit me like a shockwave. Oh, really? Wow. Not before. Yes, indeed. Just heard stories about how advanced you guys are and how kind and... Okay, fine. I need your help. I need help. Okay. Oh yeah, I guess that's a good point. Especially if they're trying to hide or something. It'd be kind of silly to think that they would be hiding near an open window. Who's with me on this mission was killed and I want to retrieve her final moments. So... Black box. Broken pod is recording a life log. Do you think you can get it for me? Sure. Oh, oh. oh, gotcha. So it's right here. I just need to hack through it. There we go. Just there. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Get some good old-fashioned revenge.
Okay, going on a little murder investigation. All right. Well, aren't we generous? Hmm? All this help for no personal gain? I know she's pretty, but... You oh, jealous to it's be? It's not like that. I mm -hmm. mean, she is pretty, but that's... It's not... Whatever. You know what? Okay. To be, if you're feeling jealous, you know, I I understand. Let's see what the board thinks of this. Hopefully he doesn't actually... Actually, shit, he could, um... Okay, he ran away. All right, because if he killed me, that would be a, uh, that would be very sad. That would be very sad. Now I know, I know it's not the same as with you, Tubi, but that is how much I care about you. I wouldn't do that for just anybody, you know. Alert! Targets are rogue units two two B and six four B. Currently designated Here we go. for detention. Damn it! I'll kill you! Let's, uh, let's fix this up. Laser sucks. Let's smash them with a hammer! Oh, okay. I see, I see. How could you? Just fine, apparently. Yes, we did. Ooh. That's a cool outfit, gotta say. That is a shit ton Please, of weapons. You have to stop fighting. Shut up! You don't know anything. <laughs> Analysis. Unit 8B specializes in close quarters combat. Proposal. Destroy enemy with long-range attacks. Destroy? What happened to detain? Yeah, those are some sick weapons. Like, can I get weapons like that? Like, those are those are awesome. Oh wait, hold on. Ah, here we go. I don't know why it took me so long to do this. Oh god, oh god! You just create squadrons of guys. Okay. Ah! Nope. Ah! Oh, okay. Now it's totally different. No! No! Damn it! All right, one last time. Oh, now it's a totally different one, okay? Okay. Oh, shit, 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 shit. No! You bitch! All right, all right, we're gonna get it this time. This time, I promise, guys, it's gonna happen. No! <sighs> One of these days. Come on! <laughs> there we go, finally! Finally! Oh, that was it. All right, she's dead. Cool. <gasps> 
Type four zero Lance. Wait, 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 destroyed. what? Black box signals confirmed offline. Mission complete. We killed them. Our fellow units. Why the hell did they steal from the resistance in the first place? You think you know? Anemone might know something to be? It's a good question. Let's find out. Those that money stuff went away while I was talking to you, to be. No. All right. There you go. Ooh, level up. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Gravity. All right, yeah, I'd be happy to meet the family. What the hell is this gravity? Glass that sucks in any enemies in the vicinity. So I can just, I can just shoot out like a black hole type thing. That's cool. Oh! Oh, that's so cool. That's really cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. Good to know. So it turns out those soldiers didn't actually steal anything. Which means what? <sighs> yeah, were they just was a hit just sent out on them? 9S to command. Come in. Maybe Operator it's a similar situation here. to A2. Go ahead. It's about the Yorha soldiers who deserted. Copy that, 9S. We've confirmed their status on this end. No, but I mean... The Resistance says that none of their supplies are actually missing. So what's going on here? I lack access to the data concerning this mission. Really? The order came from the commander herself. What? Oh. Operator, I don't understand. Okay. Be careful, 9S. I have no further information. Huh? Yeah, that's not at Operator? all sketch. Operator? All right. The hell is that all about? Let's go. But we're here to fight. That's all. Yeah, not think or anything. Can't have that. Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, well. Girlfriend of mine gave it to me. Okay. First time I've worn it in public. Gotcha. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Yes, I do. Desert station. Only woman there. Alright. Yes, and I'm sorry about the fact that I'm probably... Sounds like that red hood was a gift of some sort. Gifts are such a useless ritual. Wow, okay. What about the Where gift of your ass to be? It's rude what to give a person gift? something without the... New addition to my family. Uh... Hmm. Wait. Wait. What? Yeah. Uh. Shoot. Our red hooded target should be in the desert. Stay alert. She could be our killer. But there's fact. only one female resistance member at the desert station. Mm hmm. I don't see her. Let's ask that guy over there. Yeah. Hmm. I was gonna say, like... When they said the only the only woman from the resistance out in the desert, I was like, that sounds like Jackass. I'm curious how this will get resolved, because if Jackass is the killer, that becomes kind of problematic, given that there's also quests where Jackass is the one giving you the quests. So, like, what do we do in those situations? 
All right. I mean, we've, we've talked before, you know. Well, actually, no, not in this one we haven't. It's a good point. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Cool. Okay, I was really worried for a second. Oh. <laughs> Such a bad line, Ines. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Amnesia. Oh my god. The quest is called Amnesia. The quest is called Amnesia. She forgot. See, she kind of forgot about the, the murder. Of a female resistance member with red hair matches that of our client. But if it's the same person, why would she have had the killer's hood? Hypothesis. The red-haired resistance member is either the killer or an accomplice. There we go. Well, we did. Bossica. Yeah. Uh, so maybe they murdered them in like a like crime of passion or something like that, right? Didn't mean to. And then they're like, well shit, I can't have this happening, so they wiped their own memory or something. So they wouldn't have to deal with it, you know? 92%. 98%. Alright, what do we got? Yeah. She did it. Oh. I see. Gotcha. Okay. That's a track that's coming in. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, no, I don't think she is. No. Alright. Oh, God! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh no, I think she's totally sane. She's definitely sane. The picture of mental stability. Nothing wrong with her at all. I do want to just sort of listen to this soundtrack, this song for a little bit longer though. Ah. <sighs> 